Hey guys, I uh, just thought I would give you a video that, hey, I've been doing things, but a lot of it is not even worthy for YouTube. But here's one that's mildly interesting. It's a case that I 3D printed for my thermal camera. This uh, Seek Thermal Camera Reveal Pro. You can see it. See in my hand there. And it came with a cardboard box, but it wasn't like a decent enough box that I could uh, just toss it in my toolbox. Because I do use this camera quite frequently as a, a diagnostic tool. At least for, for homes and, not homes, but a home. And so I wanted a, a somewhat rugged case. And on Thingiverse, which is a website that has 3D printer files, there is something called a Frog Box 2.0, which is a redesign of a different um, rugged style case. It had um, artificial extra ruggedized lugs on the side. I did not want those, so I deleted them from the model that I printed out. Um, so the model that you do get, you can change parameters to change the dimensions for the case. This is actually the second case that I designed, or not designed, that I put the dimensions in for. Uh, here's the first one, and it's the correct thickness on the bottom. I did not realize that the bottom had a thickness and the top had a thickness when I printed it out. So it came out too thick by this much. But I still put this together and finished it anyways. Inside it, there's an Allen key that I used to put it together. It has some M3 by 20 millimeter uh, socket head cap screws for the hinges. It does need eight screws per box. And one thing that I'm, I'm not too thrilled about, uh, these need to be wider for me to fit my fingers in here. I can barely get it in. Let's see the Allen key that was in there. And that's kind of maybe a little bit of an issue on this one, but the other one that I have, as I put this together, you can see that there's a cam action and this is curvy so it's sprung. Uh, the other one, the the latches stick out the bottom so I can't sit it flat on the table. It's always kind of tilted unless I put it upside down. But really it doesn't matter so much because it's going to be end on in my work tool bag anyways. So it's just uh, an interesting thing that I've uh, parameterized, you know, changed the parameters printed and assembled on my uh, Ender 3 Pro. Um, for you guys that are interested, this is a PLA material. I did change the thickness of the walls to be thinner. And I did print the walls solid on this. Just to make it a little bit more dense and not hollow feeling and sounding. Okay, well, that's all I had for this video. I hope it was interesting and entertaining. And I'll have a link to the exact model that I used for this. Not the exact model, but the the files that I used in the Thingiverse website. Uh, so you can go make one for yourself. Alright guys, that's it. Bye.